Hello guys, welcome to my this video. And in this Angular Lifecycle Hooks tutorial, today I will discuss about do check lifecycle hooks. Okay, so guys, here in the previous video, I already discussed about on changes and on init lifecycle hooks. So if you haven't watched my previous these two videos, so I will suggest to watch my previous these two videos because these two lifecycle hooks, that is on changes and on init, is very important to our project. I mean, maximum time we use these two lifecycle hooks. Okay, so I will suggest that. And if you uh, if you want to watch this this video so you can go to my playlist and there you will find angular tutorial so there you can get easily this two videos okay and if you want you can write in my comment section so i will provide the link in a, in the comment also so now guys first of all you, we know when we want to use any lifecycle hook so the main thing is we need to import so here i want to use do check lifecycle hook so i will just import this do check lifecycle hooks okay and this do check lifecycle hooks it comes in angular code that means it's a default features of angular we don't need to use any third party library so it's a default feature and after that here we need to implement the lifecycle hooks like on in it on in it is the lifecycle hook so i used on in it so you can see here i already implement this on in it lifecycle hook so same way i will implement this do check lifecycle hooks so two things it's done and now guys inside this on uh, any lifecycle hooks they are uh, it's provide a method so actually method is the very important because we use only method actually right so now what i will do so i will comes to the below of the ng on in it and just here i will write ng keyword and then the lifecycle hooks i mean which lifecycle hooks method i want to use so same name i will write here but before that i will write at this ng keyword only right so now it's a method so now guys maybe you are thinking this life cycle hooks do check on in it or maybe on changes or any other life cycle hooks and after that how it comes a method like on in it it's a method ng on in it and do check it's a method ng do check so how it comes this method or what exactly this life cycle hooks so guys life cycle hooks is the interface and guys i will not go more about the life cycle hook so i was thinking to make a separate video about that then it will be more clear i mean how this method or ng on it ng do check ng on changes method are coming so that i will just discuss in uh, in another video i mean after completed all this life cycle hook so after that i will discuss on on that particular topic so it will be more clear to you so okay so now guys in the life cycle hooks there is a two part one is called and another is execute so why i am saying that after that you will be understand okay so now guys in the ng on in it so if i write inside this ng on in it console dot lock okay so this is the method actually ng on it ng do check and how i'm getting this ng on it method so from this on in it lifecycle hook same way ng do check method i'm getting from do check lifecycle hook so these are the method so inside this method we can console so i will just console okay and now here i will simply write this lifecycle hooks name so that time when it will be printed i can easily understand that which lifecycle hooks is printed so i will copy this one and similar way i will paste and this do uh, lifecycle name i will paste here so now here it's a i already said that is call and execute so when i will just save this one so our page will be loaded so after loaded the loading this page you can see ng on it method is called first of all and then ng do check so why that's why i am getting first of all it's ng on in it printed and after that ng do check printed so now javascript with the synchronize synchronize javascript execute synchronize way. so now maybe you are thinking that ng on in it it's written first of all so that's why it printed first and after that ng do check actually it's not if i cut this ng on it from here and if i paste after the ng do check but if you are thinking now that it will be printed first of all and after that it will so you are thinking wrong be because it will print ng on it first of all and then ng do check so you can see it's if i load again so you can see first of all ng on it and after that ng do check okay so ng uh, do check we can say now ng do check called after ng on in it right it's a one thing 
first thing is if uh, if we want to go to the definition so ng do check it's called after the ng on it so this is the first thing and now if you are thinking uh, how it's working like if uh, like if i uh, write ng on it below the ng do check so it should be print first this one and after that this one but uh, it's not happening it's uh, it's printed and after that ng do check so how it oh, it's working so that actually uh, video particularly i will make a separate way okay i mean after completed all this life cycle look so in uh, in that video i will discuss everything and it will be more clear okay now just you understand ng do ng do check called after ng on in it okay so that's why i will write it sequence wise okay so first of all i will write ng on it and then ng do check okay now now guys it's a loading part like when it our page is loaded so that time all the life cycle hooks called sequence wise like ng first of all ng on changes so here i didn't implement ng on changes so that's why you you are not getting this one otherwise first of all ng on changes then ng on it then ng do check and after that other life cycle hooks sequence wise it's called okay so it's completed the calling part now it's a execute so when ng on in it execute so that i already discussed in my previous video but here i will give you the brief idea so ng on in it execute again and again when our class is created like every components ts file if you go so you will find a class that is the component name in in this class you will find the component name so here this is the app component so the class name is app component so you can change the class name as per your choice and this is the oops concept so i will not go more, more about that but only the thing is you will find a class and this what cl this class does this class does just in encapsulate everything like maybe the variable suppose title this is the variable you can understand easily so this title variable this method whatever i will write so that it will be encapsulate inside this class so that is the actually features of class okay so i will not go more about that so this is the class and when this class is created so that time ng on in it it's called like so uh, javascript execute synchronize way so first of all it execute this line synchronize mean it execute line by line so after that it will be execute this line and after that when it will start to create i mean uh, start to execute this line so that time ng on init method is called so i am not called i will say here execute so that time ng on init method is execute okay so when ng on init method execute when our class is created okay so when our class is created class is created only one time so that so that means we can say ng on in it execute only one time but guys in case of on changes or ng do check so these are the different so ng do check execute different time when we get any changes i mean when any changes is detected in our application so that time ng do check will be called suppose our class will would be created maximum time so that means ng on it would be execute maximum time but it doesn't happen because when just we load our page so that time only the class is created so that's why ng on it it's it's execute only one time okay but in case of do check we can we just detect changes every time suppose we can uh, we can just push any array we can uh, change any object we can just log in our page uh, register our uh, applica application so every time uh, time that means changes is detected so that time ng do check will be called again and again right so now guys for showing this example what i will do i will create a button here inside this html files and i will change something in our application then it will be more clear so button type is button and here inside this button i will write a method that is called click and here i will write my function and the button name is click right and now i will copy this method from here and just above on this ng do check here i will paste this method and like this way. it's very simple guys and now here i will create an array so variable name is ar type is any and the array and here i will put some value that is 10 okay and now when i will click this button so that time i will push uh, some value inside this array so how can do that just simply this dot arr dot push method and here i will push the value is 12 so it's a very simple thing guys here it's not uh, any difficult so i didn't do anything for the difficult so it's a very simple just when i'll click this button i will push a uh, any value inside this and array so that means guys now here i'm just changing one something 
I'm just changing something in our application. So I already uh, said the definition ng do check called after ng on it but it execute again and again when it gets any changes in our application so that means when i will click this button it will add a inside this an array so that means it will get a any get a changes in this application and this ng2 check will be called right so now here just i will print this array so th that time you can be understand it changes anything or not when i will click so first of all you will find here in this array it's it's changed right so now save and it will just take a time to load so now you can see first of all it's called ng on in it and after that ng do check okay and now i'll just remove this one so now when just our page is loaded so that time all this life cycle hooks which i implemented i implemented here only on in it and do check so it's called at only one time okay so now when i will click this button so that time the class will not be created right this class what i shown this class will not be created so that means ng on init should not be called again but when i will click this button so that time inside this array a value will be added so that means a change will be detected so that time do check should be called because do check called when changes is detected so now if i click this button so you will find here inside this array it's added a new value that is 12 and when it's added a new value so that time ng do check is called again because i already said it's when it's get any changes suppose for this example i used the array but suppose if you log in if you register this application that means that time it's also changes something right so that time it, you will find ng do check is called again and again suppose if i add here so you can see this value is added again so ng do check is execute again right so this is the in use of ng do check but now if you are thinking which scenario we can use ng do check so here i will try to give you a uh, give you a scenario but guys you may face the another another scenario so there you can use ng do check but here suppose guys you want to show a alert message to the user when user will change anything in this application so that time you can use ng do check suppose if i change when i will click this button so it it will the value will be added actually here i printed the value 12 it should be printed this array so that time i can uh, get the changes inside this array okay so now open and here if i so now you can see this one and uh, i actually remove this console so console dot lock and here if i write this do check so you will find how many times this array will be changed and do check will be called again okay so if i click so you can see inside this array it's added a value 12 so ng do check is called but not ng on it because the changes is detected not the new class is created when the new class is created so that time only on in it execute if i click again so you can see it's added 12 again so ng do check call execute again like this way it will be execute again again 12 and you do check is execute again so like this way okay so now what i was saying that is suppose when any changes will user uh user will do any changes so that time if you want to show a alert message to the user so that time you can use ng do check lifecycle hooks suppose if i write any alert message and if i write a message that is you have changed so like so the, that time uh, this alert is already shown because i already said one is call and another is execute in the life cycle hooks there is the two parts so when we just reload our page so that time all this life cycle hooks call at a one time right so that means on in it you can see on in it is called so it's printed the value because inside this on it i have written a console and inside this do check i have written an alert message so it's called uh, when it's page is loaded so it's called only one, uh, one time so it's uh, showing this alert message first time but guys here when i will just i mean click this button it will any changes will detect so that time the alert message will be shown again that means execute ng do check will execute so you can see i'm clicking it's added up new value 12 and this alert is showing again 
right if i click again so you can see alert is showing again so this kind of scenario you can use ng do check life cycle hooks or maybe you can face the another scenario there you have to be uh, use this ng do check so you can use that actually for the for this example for uh, for uh, just showing uh, what is the use of ng do check so that's why i have shown this example okay and guys here if you find this video is helpful so please like this video and if you have any doubt so please write in comment and i will try to solve your doubt and if you want to get more update so please subscribe my channel and also press the notification bell icon